Hoka, 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 hey, Hoka, One, Hoka, One, sold another pair of Hokas. These are Clifton 8, size 12, double wide. I think I paid $10, yeah, I paid $10 for these shoes just one week ago. Listed them over the weekend. They sold yesterday for $39.99 on eBay. I had people offering me 25 and 30 bucks, but I, these aren't horrible. These are worn, but they're not horrible. So I waited it out because it had a lot of watchers and it paid off. So 10 into 40 plus shipping. This pair of shoes right here is a bad purchase. Now I did make money, but nothing even close to what I thought I was going to make. These are some Nike Jordan Retro 5s. They are a kids 7Y. I also listed them as women's, which would be eight and a half. Maybe it's a flip. Either way, I paid $15 for these in February of 22, and they just sold on a best offer of $30. I would not do that again. Never, ever would I ever do that again. If I'm gonna spend $15, I want it to sell for 45 plus, minimally. But, because I've had them so long, Went ahead and took the offer to get rid of them. Next up is this Kelty Toddler Hiking Backpack. You actually sit your toddler in the backpack and then put it on your back to take a hike. And I picked this thing up at Goodwill for $8 probably about four months ago, but I never got around to actually listing it until about three weeks ago. It took a little while, not too long, but it finally sold on Mercari for $60 plus shipping. I'm gonna use an 18 by 18 by 48 golf bag box at U-Haul. It cost me about $4, but it'll fit in there nice and tight, but I'm gonna cut it down so it's not as tall, and that's how I'm gonna ship this one out. Here's another similar story. Some little baby foam posits, toddlers really. They're a size 13C or something like that, 10C. But the story's not as bad. It's bad, but not as bad. I paid $6 for these shoes more than a year ago, thinking they would go for 50 plus, because I know that some people like to pay for their little kids' Jordans, but they never sold. So I took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. But six into 20 isn't a horrible deal. It's just nothing close to what I thought I was gonna get. I sold a broom on eBay. It's a Harry Potter broom. What is it? Quidditch is the game he likes to play? It's a broomstick. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a Nimbus 2000. This is a Halloween prop for kids, and I've got two of them. I paid $3 a piece, and I sold this one for $19.95 plus shipping. I'm not big into books, but I picked this up at the Amazon bin store for a quarter. The Spirit of the Sword. Hiya! It sold for $18.95 free shipping. I'll send it media mail, so it won't be that much, maybe two, three bucks, but I only paid 25 cents for it. Spirit of the Sword. Original price, $24.95, but it's used. So, that, that actually makes me happy. I'm not exactly sure how long I've had these Crocs in my death pile, but I paid $8 for them some time ago. Finally cleaned them up and listed them just today, and they already sold for $26.95 plus shipping. They're Crocs canvas boat shoes or loafers. And I like these more so than I like the traditional uh, Crocs because honestly, my Goodwill prices those traditional Crocs at 10 and $15, so I never pick them up. Not at that price at least. But these, they're always less than 10. It's, they just don't know that these sell as well. So $26.95 plus shipping. Sold today, one day, less than 24 hours. If you've been reselling for any time at all, I'm sure you've heard of On Cloud Tennis Shoes. This was a great find. Unfortunately, I had to pay up for it, but they're in immaculate condition. I didn't have to do a whole lot of cleaning at all, just a little bit of red clay on the bottom that I scrubbed off with the toothbrush. These are On Cloud, I wanna say fives, kinda of lose track of all that, but they're a women's size seven and a half, all white, and they sold on Mercari for $65 plus shipping. These bad boys got a lot of attention. The day I listed them, I was getting offers of around 50, 55, 52, but with all that interest, I knew they would sell, and they did in the same day. 
Lucky, lucky, I walked into Goodwill on a day I wasn't supposed to be there, but I had to run an errand and Goodwill was right beside the UPS store. So I ran inside and I got these Hoka's for $15. Now, that's paying up a little bit, but that's okay because they sold for $59.95 plus shipping. Again, another pair that I listed just today and they sold within 24 hours. These are the trail running shoes. And they're called Stinson, I think. Yeah, Stinson 3. Again, paid 15 and they sold today, less than 24 hours, for $59.95 plus shipping. You remember these shoes? These Nike Pegasus? Had them listed for $40, $30, $20. No one ever bought them. Took an offer of $5 just to get them out of my death box. They've been listed for two years. Remember that? I do. You remember that? I packed them up last week, got them all labeled up, ready to ship out. The buyer got the update that they were being shipped, requested a cancellation. $5 shoes and they wanted to cancel. Well, I got a message the other day about one of these $1 printers that I sold. The HP 6150, which I sold for 60 bucks plus shipping. The guy was all in, $97 and some change. The message said he was having problems with the paper. There's an error on the screen of a paper jam. I tested this puppy. I tested it. It gave me zero errors. It fed the paper just fine. It made a copy. It tried to print, but there was no ink but black, but it just printed black. There was nothing I could do about it, and the thing weighs 28 pounds. I wasn't going to pay USPS priority return shipping on this. That would have been over 100 bucks all by itself. So I just opted to give him his money back, and he took it. I didn't get a case opened but I lost $97. These printers might not be worth it. Last time I visited Atlanta back in December, I picked up two pair of these Adidas golf shoes. They're Addy Pure, white leather, very nice condition. I did zero cleaning to these shoes. They were in great shape. They're men's size nine and I bought two pair, $9.99 each. Listed them for $40 a piece. This sold on best offer of $35 plus shipping. Funny story is, I think the guy was actually messaging me from the golf course. Something must have happened to his shoes while he was out there playing. I could only imagine the sole of his shoe or the toe of his shoe breaking off in the middle of his backswing. So it's on its way, buddy. I hope your next uh, round of 18 goes better than the last one did. Well, the second broom sold today, this time on Facebook Marketplace. $19.95 plus shipping. They're all in about $32, somewhere around in there. It's like $31.88. But again, I bought this for $3.09 when I went up to Atlanta in December, listed it in January, sold within two weeks. Didn't expect it to. I honestly thought it was going to be a Halloween sale, but nope. Some kids love Harry Potter out there. I am definitely not a fan of reselling plush. You can pick it up, but it's got to be hot for it to sell fast. This fortunately was one of those items. I bought this Angry Birds 8 inch Terrence for $3 and I listed it and it sold in an hour for $34.95 plus shipping. It's going to a buyer in the Czech Republic. He paid upwards of $63 total to get this home to himself through the international shipping program. Look out for the 8 inch Angry Bird Terrence that has a little music box inside, not a music box, but a voice box, but it, it's pitiful. I put in the description, voice box is dying. Sound is pitiful. And he bought it anyway. Can this week get any worse? <sighs> Nike Vapor Max, yellow. Sold them last week for 95 bucks. Free shipping, really $15. eBay authentication shipping. And that's where the problem comes into play. They said, eBay said, they're fakes, that they're not real. At first I got a notification that just said that it doesn't match the listing description. Then I got a second notification email that said, this is our counterfeit policy. All that adds up to believe that they think that these Vapor Max are fake. Man alive. After that printer return, I just didn't think this could get any worse. Things just got worse. Got a notification from eBay that I lost my top rated seller status. I, I, can't, I can't talk right now. Because 
of the return on those Nike shoes, the Vapor Max. They counted it as a cancellation on my part, and now I'm over the percentage limit to be top rated seller. Last week was the best week ever. This week, the worst week ever. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you all the reality of eBay reselling. Sometimes it can be really bad. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it can be really bad. But I'm going to dust this off. This week is done. Shake it off, whatever Taylor Swift says. And let's aim towards next week. Lots of listing, lots of sales, and lots of money. Y'all stay safe out there. Have fun picking, guys.